Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a grand solar minimum update Friday, October 22nd, 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time 2021. Take a look at the snowpack in Colorado. Holy mackerel, 1,683% above normal in Gunnison, 963% above normal in Dolores, San Miguel, and the San Juans. Whew. Keep calm. It's boom time. Rain, snow forecast for Lake Tahoe could be record-breaking. Holy mackerel. Officials warn heavy precipitation could cause floods, landslides, particularly in the Caldor burn scars. Whew. Once again, keep calm. It's boom time. California Ski Resort expecting Hi, enough snow. Hi, meteorologist Jim Castillo here. Over the next weekend, that it's opening two weeks early while explodes and burns up there, apparently. Holy mackerel. What's happening at the ski resort? West Coast braces for simultaneous bomb cyclone and atmospheric river. Take a look at Sacramento, almost in the crosshairs of the flood watch. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes possible Sunday. Here's the timeline of storms in the St. Louis area. No one will escape. The brutality. Let's check the GFS models and see what's coming. As no one is bumming, as the global warming goodness pushes forward before November even reaches us. Look at that. Al Gore is a bore. Here we are, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That will be your fun day. Let's just pause this so that you can actually take a look. Okay, through the weekend. Here it is Friday. Through Sunday, we're looking at up to a foot of snow in the Sierras. Heavy snow moving into all the high regions of the entire Rocky Mountains, including, well, take a look. Cascadia is going to get dumped upon. And that will continue. The pattern continues through the early week. Monday through Tuesday, heavy snow will be in Idaho. Heavy snow in moving into Wyoming and Colorado. Take a look at that. Monday, Tuesday, that's our lose day. Tuesday, Wednesday. Holy shit. And those big totals are still happening in the central Idaho mountains. So heads up as the snow pattern continues as we move into winter. Here's why Colorado's early snowpack numbers are off the charts. Well, because they are. And this is a good sign. Now we're going into La Nina winter where they claim that we're going to be completely drought ridden and there will be no snow. But in October... We have some of the highest recorded numbers of snowpack ever in history. Hello. Heavy precipitation, strong winds in the west, locally severe weather in the central plains. Severe atmospheric river events will bring widespread moderate to heavy precipitation and gusty winds to much of the Pacific Northwest for days including California and the Intermontane West through early next week. Storms may pose a risk for mainly isolated large hail across central plains into the Missouri <laughs> Saturday. The severe weather, along with heavy rains, will spread into the Mississippi Valley on Sunday, which will be a fun day. Now, getting back to hail, record-breaking 6.3-inch hailstones battered Australia this week. And we reported on them. We showed you pictures, but the official numbers coming in. A thunderstorm over Yalabru, Queensland in Australia on Monday, October 18th, 2021, dropped a record-breaking hailstone on the area, one of which was 6.3 inches, 14 centimeters wide, larger than a softball. The hailstone has been confirmed by Australia's bomb. They can suck it because we have seven and eight inch hailstones in South America. So there's that. Now take a look at this. Insane hailstorm strikes and a guy freaks out. Now, this isn't the big hail. This is the little hail. So, he hails in comparison. I've never lived through anything like this.
have a look at this incredible video of just a monster shredder of a hailstorm that was going on recently in Australia. I'm not gonna live for anything like this. Have a look at this incredible video of just a monster shredder of a hailstorm that was going on recently in Australia. So a couple of things that really pop out at me about this video. First of all, the hailstones themselves are really not all that big, right? It looks like some dime size, nickel size, maybe a couple of quarter sized uh, hailstones overall, but there are just so many of them. I don't want to be here right now. <laughs> I'm not going to live through anything like this. Have a look at this incredible video of just a mo I've never lived through anything like this. That's my, well, that's my interpretation of that guy. Clearly, we're having issues of connectivity, but we'll leave you links to this video and many others below. Let's just pause that. Now, moving on. 13 dead due to heavy snow in India, and we're including people that are trekking in the high Karakorams. Scott's shoveling. Mount Washington looks like the North Pole. Record smashing snow headed for the U.S. Yes, indeed, this is all true. And this is all reported on by Cap Allen, one of the greatest in reporting on actual science as we descend into the grand solar minimum. Indeed. Arctic blast brings October snow to the UK, plus Manam volcano pops to 50,000 feet. Yes, indeed. We reported on this well before Cap did, and he probably picked it up when we put it down, like many others in the YouTube sphere and the blogosphere in our realms. Arctic blast brings October snow to the UK just in time for the COP26 summit. Yeah, climate con. October snow is settling in the northern UK. And we just came back from the 14th ICCC and interviewed some of the greatest for you. Now look for our interview with um, one of the Co-creators of Greenpeace coming soon, maybe in the next 24 hours, Patrick Moore, our exclusive interview and his memoir, perhaps. So take a look at that. Now, the Arctic blast and October snow to the UK. Well, we've been waiting for this because it's been quite warm up there and we're waiting for the, well, you know, the Beaufort Gyre to release. And that would end the AMOC and it would wreak havoc on Europe. But in the meantime, the month of October started mild across much of Britain with temperatures regularly rising above 20 C. But the winds have now changed and brutal Arctic air is being funneled into the home nations as well as into northern and central eastern Europe. And this is a sign of the times yeah, because it's winter. So wake up. Seismic update. Many quakes of note. We have some activity here on the Aleutian Peninsula heading towards Kamchatka. In fact, the 511 on Rat Island could be some volcanic activity going on there. 5.1 in Taiwan. Apparently, that's the end of democracy there. And we have a, a 3.7 just south of LA. Hey, hey. Can you imagine that? This is all normal activity worldwide. Indeed, including a 5.1 in Russia, where they're probably testing nuclear weapons. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Reventador, Sangay, Nevados de Ruiz, Sabancaya, Suanosima, and more. Hi, Hi, meteorologist Jim Castillo here. Five in your... Jim, we're, we're done with you. La Palma is now erupting to just 8,000 feet as a reduction from 13,000 feet earlier today. So we've gone to 13, to 10, to 8. And the inflation is decreasing. Hopefully, this eruption is coming to an end. And that is our official position. Please watch the update over at Magnetic Reversal News. Now, we also have updates at Magnetic Reversal News on all the volcanoes that are specific, including Volcano Volcan in the Stromboli Islands, as well as Kilauea. So go check out the update and do it now. Do that. Goes X-ray flux, space weather news now. We've had a total X-ray increase from A through B yesterday up into C today and ever increasing as a set of sunspots turn over the limb 
and will be earth facing for the next eight days. We're going to be keeping a close eye on space weather and our sun. Now, China brought the first moon rocks back to Earth in 45 years. They hint at a mysterious volcanic eruption. It's not that mysterious. In fact, they're just claiming that, well, the sun, uh, the moon erupted 3 billion years ago, but now we're dating it back to 2 billion. Holy macaroni. Dinosaur fossils from a supposed Huge carnivore actually belong, well, to an herbivore. Yeah, that's how smart our current paleontologists are. Now, I'm a paleontologist, and I do not put myself into the realm of these schmucktards. Trust me. But a dinosaur footprint found about 50 years ago is from a plant-eating dinosaur, not a huge meat-eating dinosaur as previously thought. And take a look at this card. That looks like a stegosaur. They ate plants. Kind of like rhinos. Earth may be trapped inside a giant magnetic tunnel. And this just coming out 16 hours ago, the mainstream figured out what a Birkeland current actually is. This is spectacular. And the fact that these complete schmucktards are actually picking up what we've been putting down for a whole lot of years. Well, it's pretty fascinating. Birkeland currents connect all bodies in the universe. These are magnetic electric threads. The, the, the term was coined by Birkeland himself decades ago. And, well, mainstream academia, as, as well as cosmologists, astronomers, and many others are, well, they're just so far behind that they're saying that Earth may be trapped in a magnetic tunnel. It's so bizarre. We don't even know what it is. Now, Birkeland himself explained these magnetic connections, these Birkeland currents connecting celestial bodies so far ago that the people that are making this headline may not have been even born. And that's a boon to indoctrination and retardation in our science community. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When science and academia that cost tens of thousands of dollars a semester equal Nonsense. And all you have to do is watch a YouTube channel for free and you can gain more information than most scientists gain in their entire lives. Well, that's a boom to knowledge. Free, in fact. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And if you're a hero, share it on your social media. Do it now. Do a dab. We love you. Be safe. And we'll see you soon with the boom to knowledge. Internet.